guys, it's Liddy here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this Fix Dry filament dryer. So let's get started. So welcome back, guys. I have this really cool machine that I'm going to be showing you guys how to use. Um, today it is called the Fix Dry filament dryer. I've never actually used a filament dryer before. However, I have been in need plenty of times with uh, printing with TPU and um, things like ABS and PETG with my 3D printer. So I'm super excited to show you guys this machine today. Um, again, I've never used one, so this is totally new to me. You'll be experiencing it firsthand with me. Um, it is a super cool machine, super simple to use, to put together, um, to put your filament in and get your filament completely dry. So let's hop right into showing you guys what the machine looks like, um, how we use it, and then we'll chat a little bit after that. So I just took everything out of the box and just checking here on the box, um, it just states that this uh, machine or this dryer fits 99% of filaments, so the different filament sizes. It has a hot air circulation and built-in fan into the system. Um, it has real-time uh, humidity monitoring, which is really nice to see um, if you don't have another type of way to test your humidity. PTC heating and infinite adjustment temperature, and it is low uh, work, it has low working noise, so it's really nice. Um, you could have this in your office or um, depends on where your printer is, uh, but it has very quiet, which is a definite um, plus for this machine. So just looking at the machine here, um, pretty simple. And then I also have the instructions here. Um, one thing I would do want to state is it does say to not um, keep this plugged in if you're not going to use it, um, just for safety reasons. And then again, do not touch the heating hole because of course it is hot and don't leave it unattended. And then just some other safety precautions um, listed in here as well. So I'm going to um, insert the filament into the machine um, and then turn it on. So we have the machine plugged in and all I gotta do is press the on button. You can hear it turns on. So before we actually insert our filament, we do want to make sure to put this little um, piece in here that comes with the machine. It helps circulate the air um, instead of just shooting it directly up. And this is actually um, a double filament dryer, which is super nice. So I can have two different filaments in here. So all you do is you place your uh, filament spool here. And then I'm going to also insert some PLA. So this is some like TPU, more um, higher temp TPU. And then this is the other PLA. Um, so now we're going to put this lid back on and I'm going to feed the filament uh, through the holes. So once we have the filament fed through the holes, this is so that you can use it while it's drying. But for right now, we are just going to leave them sticking out like that. Um, another plus about this machine is you can use it um, for any 3D printer. So if I have this next to my Creality Sierra 10S Pro, I will use these two holes down here, or the one for the filament to feed down here. However, if you have a machine that feeds from the top of the machine, there are also more holes here and here um, to feed it from the top so it's easier so it doesn't have to bend from all the way down here and up it'll just go from straight to the top into the machine so we're going to turn it on um, and then it has a timer on it uh, this is a four hour timer you can see it's 19 degrees celsius and right now it's a 58 percent humidity so that's a lot right now especially for um, tpu material it'll have a lot of moisture in it and we don't want that so that's why we have this machine this machine um, in the manual also comes with the temperatures that you need to and the times you set this machine at for your specific filament. So um, because I have the two different filaments in here, um, we are going to use just the TPU only because um, we want it to dry that out more than the PLA. But as you can see, the TPU is hotter than the PLA, so we w it'll work either way. Um, we also have the Teflon tube. Um, and for because I have two different um, filaments in there, I would cut this in half and then just plug the hole so it wouldn't wear off um, this rubber on the little plugs here. Uh, so you just connect this into there and just like you would on your 3D printer. So I'm going to set again to 55 uh, degrees Celsius for four hours. So I believe to do this, we click um, these, this button over here, set it to your temperature click it again um, and then you set your four hours so because it is there we go four hours and then you can set your minutes as well and then you just leave it to go 
Um, so I believe this will run for the four hours to dry it. And um, it should uh, be completely dry once um, the, the timer is complete. You just have to mess with it for your uh, different filaments. Um, but again, it's really nice that they include this um, little instruction or uh, recommended temperature settings in your little pamphlet that you get with this machine. All right, guys, so that is the Fix Dry Filament Dryer. Again, it's a pretty cool machine. I've never seen anything like it. I know there are some other filament dryers out there, but I've never tried one before today. Um, and I am extremely excited to be able to print with my TPU filament without it having to be bubbly. And then also successfully printing with PETG material um, on my 3D printer due to keeping the filament dry in this machine. So I've always in the past just used um, the oven at a really low temperature to be able to dry my filament, um, mostly the, uh, the flexible filament, not so much the PLA filament, but sometimes I've had really old PLA that have brought back to life while drying it out. So that's exactly what this machine is for. It will make your prints look 10 times better and the way that it takes the moisture out of the filament pretty quickly in less than four hours is really cool um it's pretty quick and you can start it in the morning before you're gonna start your prints and you can actually again use it while your machine is printing to make sure that your filament is completely dry and free of that moisture that we don't like when 3d printing so if you guys want to get this machine, I will have a link down below in the description of this video. Uh, again, this was the double roll. Uh, I do know that they offer a single roll, which is um, also really nice. But if you have a dual color printer um, or if you just have a lot of rolls that need to dry out, doing two at a time is really quick and very efficient for those who 3D print all the time. So again, this is a super awesome machine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about it, please let me know down below in the comments. And so that's it for the video. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.